This is the most exciting new Maker product to come out in years. It is a UV printer, which is like a cross between a 2D inkjet printer and a 3D resin printer. It can print in full color onto just about anything, and it can even add three-dimensional texture to the prints. That works because it sprays CMYK ink from the print head, like an inkjet printer, but the ink is UV curable and the printer can build it up in layers like a 3D printer does. Through that process, it can make 3D textures and reliefs up to five millimeters thick, all in full color. UV printing technology isn't new, but it's been limited to expensive industrial machines and professional print shops and factories. This machine, the Ufi Make UV Printer E1, is the first of its kind designed for hobbyists, makers, crafters, and prosumers. Ufi Make is a rebranding of Anchor Make, which you might know for their Anchor Make M5 and M5C 3D printers. I actually reviewed the M5C in 2023 and wasn't very happy with it. Overall, I think the Anchor Make M5C is a decent printer, has very good performance and is well built, but I don't love it, especially not at this price point. Anchor Make is new to the 3D printing industry, and I don't think they allocated their budget for this printer in a sensible way. Was it prudent to spend so much money on a costly base and omit a conventional control panel? I don't think so. In case you didn't make the connection, Anchor Make and Eufy Make are Anchor brands, the company that makes phone chargers and that kind of thing. Their Eufy brand sells robot vacuums and security cameras. Anchor Make and now Ufi Make are Anchor's forays into the maker industry. I think they discontinued the M5 and M5C 3D printers, and the new Ufi Make UV Printer E1 is now their only product. But it's a heck of a product because there is nothing else like this on the consumer market. You can read my full written review over on Hackster, and I'll put a link to that in the description. But this is a very visual kind of thing, so I also wanted to make a video. Unfortunately, it's really hard to record or even see the physical printing process. Everything is obscured while you're printing, and you can really only see the print head moving back and forth while shining UV light, and that's kind of boring to watch. So I'm going to focus on showing you the kinds of things you can make with this. My favorite of the things I designed is this donut printed onto a 45 vinyl record. The frosting and sprinkles are raised, which looks really cool. There is a camera inside the printer to help you with positioning, which is how I was able to get it lined up properly. Another neat one is this print I did on a Zippo lighter. Eat cheese and sin, my friends. Of course, the obvious use case for a printer like this is the kind of swag you'd get from booths at a trade conference. Mugs, coasters, water bottles, keychains, and stuff like that. A lot of people will buy this machine solely to make stuff like that, but it can do so much more. For example, check out this painting of my dog and me. It started as a photo my wife snapped on her iPhone. I then used an effects filter to give it the appearance of an oil painting. Next, I used the AI tool in the Eufy Make Studio to add simulated brush strokes. And finally, I printed it onto canvas. It looks awesome, like it was actually painted. Eufy Make Studio has a lot of AI tools like that for generating artwork and creating texture effects. I don't love the idea of AI-generated art, but I'm fine with AI tools for the textures. However, those do require AI credits, and those cost money. That said, you can create 3D effects without using AI. I did that with the donut by using vector artwork and setting a different height for each layer. And Eufy Make says that more robust height map tools will be coming soon. In addition to printing on rigid flat surfaces, you can also print onto cylindrical things using the rotary attachment and onto film for things like stickers. The rotary attachment worked fine, but only for cups and bottles of the right size and shape. Eufy Make will sell bottles and other products specifically for this purpose, which will all work, but anything you buy elsewhere might not fit. The rotary attachment is pretty particular about shape. Also, the camera positioning doesn't work with the rotary attachment. For those reasons, the rotary attachment was a bit of a disappointment. 
DTF, direct to film printing, seemed to work just fine. It is for printing stickers, banners, and other stuff like that. Eufy Make will sell a lamination machine specifically for stickers, and it worked well for me. I doubt I'll print many stickers, but it's nice to know that it's an option. To me, the potential was all in the creative opportunities afforded by the ability to print in full color onto anything. You can, for example, add logos and labels to your 3D printed parts. Here's an example on PPF CF filament, or you can add graphics onto standard PCBs. I tried that with this PCB and messed up the alignment, which was my fault, but you get the idea. Heck, you can even print onto coins. Since you're watching my YouTube channel, I'm guessing you're the type of person who can see all of the potential in a machine like this. Of course, there are many factors that may cause you some hesitation. The most obvious, in my opinion, is the ink. The ink comes in six cartridges, one each for cyan, magenta, yellow, black, white, and gloss. There is also an additional cleaning cartridge. A complete cartridge pack is going to cost $300, which is a pretty substantial chunk of change. I did the math and that's about six times more expensive than the ink bottles sold for professional UV printing. It's a bit like inkjet printing all over again and that is sure to turn a lot of people off. Speaking of pricing, the UV Make UV Printer E1 will launch on Kickstarter on April 29th. The regular price for the standard bundle, which includes the printer and ink, will be $1,899, but super early birds will be able to get that bundle for $1,699. And you can get an even better deal if you put a $50 deposit down on the Eufy Make website by April 28th. People who do that will be able to get the bundle for $1,499. I'm really curious to see what people think about that pricing. Personally, I think it's fair because of how much R&D must have gone into this machine and how much capability it has. Whether it proves to be successful or not, I think this technology is a game changer for makers. There is so much potential here, and this is the very rare kind of product to come along and make you think, hey, why didn't we have this until now? I expect that a bunch of other manufacturers are going to take notice and scramble to release UV printers of their own, and I'm looking forward to seeing that competition. Let me know if you want to see more videos about the Eufy Make UV printer. I've already discovered several tricks, so I'll make a video full of tips if you guys are interested. Thanks for watching.